I've been following a large population of men and women for over 30 years now. So we followed these people to see who lives, who dies, who gets sick, who stays healthy, who stays functional, etc. And in this research, and we've published probably 200 papers, we find that low fitness is the strongest predictor of mortality of anything that we look at. Now you hear in the press and in the scientific literature, overweight, obesity, oh my goodness, two thirds of Americans are overweight or obese. It's just on and on and on. The talking heads and the scientists as well carry on about this. Well, in our study, when we look at obesity, as a predictor of mortality, it completely goes away when we adjust for fitness. In other words, the fat guys like me who are fit have one half the risk of dying in the next decade as the thin guys who are not fit. You can't argue with the evidence that you know dropping a bunch of weight doesn't do a lot for mortality rates, but being physically active has a tremendous impact on it. So we got to look at this data and acknowledge it and really shift the emphasis off hearing so much about the obesity epidemic. We've got to start talking more about the inactivity epidemic. And I, I think it's so refreshing for patients to quit focusing so hard on their weight and start focusing on inactivity. And nobody argues with the, the solution. It's walk.